Hi everyone! So today I'm doing a makeup tutorial on Blair Waldorf makeup from the Gossip Girl. I'm pretty sure you all know her. And I simply love Blair's makeup so I thought why not to do it if I like it so much. And if you are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. So I'm gonna start off by clipping my hair back. Okay, now Blair's skin is very, very... Well, the main um, thing in her look is a very beautiful polished skin, uh, almost porcelain lo looking, and like glossy bare lips. So for the skin I'm using my Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation. Because, first of all, I love this foundation, and second of all, it gives a very natural, like, almost second skin-like look. It's very seamless on the skin. I'm gonna use my Bourjois Health Mix Concealer under my eyes and any blemishes that I have on my nose I feel like this concealer really brightens up the under eye area I love it as an overall concealer I would not normally conceal that much, but it's, you know, it's Blair Waldorf look, her skin is like perfection. I seriously love the skin of Leighton Mister. It's so, her face is so doll-like. Now the skin is done and I'm moving on onto my eyebrows. Her eyebrows are not thin at all, they're very natural, thicker, very groomed eyebrows. So I'm gonna use my Art Deco eyebrow pencil as usually. And fill the gaps in. Always brush through your brows with spoolie once you apply a pencil or any eyeshadow just to make the color blend with your eyebrow so that it looks more natural. Now I'm gonna move on to the eyes and I've read somewhere that the eyeshadow that sorry, Blair uses is Patina by MAC which happens to be my favorite eyeshadow looks like this probably all know it and I'm taking my brush from two from Eco Tools and she wears it as an all over the lid color for her daytime looks so I'm gonna do exactly the same apply it all over the lid up to the um, up to my crease a 
Blair has very round eyes and they're quite deep set which I don't have so it might look different on me this eye makeup I'm gonna take another fluffy brush and <coughs> blend the eyeshadow I just absolutely love her eye makeup so beautiful so okay the eyeshadow is almost done she doesn't wear any crazy colors and this is daytime look for an evening eye she wears just stronger darker colors like darker brown or gray just to intensify her look but for daytime nothing I'm taking the small eyeshadow brush my Chanel uh, Mystic Eyes palette from which I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown color here and apply it along my top lash line and the outer corner just to darken up that area it's not a much darker brow brown but it's just a little bit because you know it's daytime look you don't wanna she doesn't wear as I said, strong looks. Okay, now looking at um, the Gossip Girl series, I couldn't detect whether she wears black or a dark brown eyeliner. And I decided I'm gonna use my trusty uh, Chanel eyeliner in Espresso. Which is a very very brown, dark brown color and she kind of wears it not like as a cat eye but just on the outer corners very close to the lash line and a tiny bit on her bottom lash line Okay, my eyeliner is done. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Chanel curlers. And I'm gonna apply my Maybelline Colossal Cat Eyes Mascara. So now I'm gonna powder my face using my Chanel Universal Powder and the Body Shop Brush. Just gonna powder all over my face to really give my skin that um, I don't know, porcelain, I want to say porcelain look. Now 
Now for the blush, I'm gonna use my NARS Duce blush, which is something that I think Blair would wear. She does not wear much color either on or her eyes, on her cheeks. She wears just a bronzer with a highlighter or some kind of... This is kind of blush that Blair would wear. It's very natural, very classy. Yeah, very classy, ladylike blush. So, as you can see, I'm not wearing any bronzer. Just the blush. Now, I've read somewhere also that the highlighter that she uses, or that makeup artists use on her, is the Dior Amber Diamond Highlighter, which happens to be my favorite highlighter. And I'm using a fan brush to apply it just on the very tops of my cheeks to give some shine there. And I'm just gonna blend the edges of the blush to make it more seamless. And now the last thing of her look is a very glossy berry lips and I've noticed on one of the series that she used a lip gloss by NARS, uh, like a dark berry color, but I'm gonna use the Bourjois 3D effect, which these are my favorite lip glosses and the color is um, number 8 from Bois Tonic. I think it's a very very blair like color apply a lot of it to make your lips very glossy So that's my finished Blair Waldorf makeup look and I'm also wearing this necklace which I think is very Blair like. So I'll give you a closer look. So as I said a polished skin, very neutral colors on the face and a darker lip. So I think it's a very beautiful sophisticated daytime look. And this is pretty much all I wear every single day myself, so that's why I love this look. It's very me, I think. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave comments, subscribe, and have a great weekend and see you soon. Bye.